Okay, um, I'm gonna add a cube with Shift A, uh, Mesh Cube, and always try to use a reference for proportions. The best option is to use a character here in Item Dimensions. I'm gonna scale the character to 1.82 or 83 meters. I always use my height so I can better understand not the size but the proportions. Now define the size of the structure. You can scale with S and also scale in a particular axis by pressing S, then X, Y or C. Every time you scale in object mode, don't forget to apply the scale by pressing Ctrl A, scale. And this way you won't have problems with stretch textures or modifiers. By pressing Tab, you can go into edit mode and press Tab again to go back to object mode. With Ctrl R, add some loop cuts. and Ctrl B to bevel the edges and use your character to define the size of the entrance. I'm gonna select these vertices, press S, then X. You can delete faces by pressing X, then faces. Now press E and extrude inwards to make the entrance. Again add some loop cuts. And we can select a face loop by pressing Alt click. Now press Alt E and choose extrude faces along normals and make sure to enable offset even with alt click select the edge loops and control b to bevel we can also choose a custom profile i'm gonna use cornice molding and just increase the segments. I'm gonna delete these faces. By pressing F, we can fill a hole. And now press I to inset, then E to extrude. Uh, to create the columns, I created a cube. Uh, since this is a symmetrical model, we can add a mirror modifier. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna use the X and Y axis. Select these faces and press I to inset but this time enable individual and now extrude faces along normals. Here I'm gonna create a loop cut, scale it up, 
then control B to bevel and again choose Cornelius molding and the columns are ready we can duplicate the column with shift D and I'm gonna scale it down You can see through the mesh by activating wireframe shading with this button and also move these vertices Now to flatten the vertices here I'm gonna press S then X and press 0 on the numpad uh, to select loose objects select a face or vertex then press L You can hide objects with H and to join the vertices select them by pressing shift click then press J. Now I'm gonna delete the half and add a mirror modifier. Uh, to unhide the objects, press Alt H and we can take existing geometry and duplicate it with Shift D, then press P and separate. Now I'm gonna add a solidify modifier, activate even thickness. And now scale along the normals with Alt S. Okay, um, to add the textures, open the shader editor and create the material. Before I add the textures, I'm going to apply the modifiers. Then select the objects with shift click and control J to join them. To create the UVs in edit mode, press A to select all the faces, then press U. And for quick texturing, we can use cube projection. Now to add the PBR textures, we can use the Node Wrangler add-on. If you haven't activated yet, go to Preferences, Add-ons, and look for Node Wrangler, and check the box next to it. Now click the principal shader, and press Ctrl Shift T. Now look for your textures and you can find these textures in the resources folder. I'll select the color, displacement, normal and roughness. And we can repeat the texture with the mapping node, just increase scale. Uh, I'm going to use Cycles for rendering and for lining in World Properties 
click color and add environment texture. Now preview the render by clicking this button and find your HDR image. Uh, you can download free HDR images on polyheaven.com. The link is in the description. Now in render properties, under film, I'm going to set to transparent background. And because we are using cycles, uh, the displacement texture gives us some extra details. You can control it with scale in the displacement node. And now to add some dirt, uh, press Shift A and add uh, image texture. Also a mix color. and connect the texture we created to mix color. Now I'm going to select uh, this crunch texture that I made, set to multiply. With factor we can control the visibility. But we can also add a color ramp to the grunge texture to change the contrast and visibility. If you want to move the uh, grunge texture, select it and press Ctrl T. You can modify it here. Uh, some people ask me how I made the PBR textures for my models, especially for these tattooing buildings, this sun wall material. So if you are interested, I uploaded a tutorial for patrons where I explain how to create these textures with Substance Painter. Um, to round the edges, you can use a bevel modifier. Uh, for this, I'm using JMesh Tools. Uh, this is a free add-on. Just download the zip file and now in Blender, in add-ons, install the zip file. Okay, so now open JMesh Tools here and click Bevel. I'm going to use only one segment. And now right click and Auto Smooth. In the modifier properties, we can modify the amount. Also, in intersections, I'm going to use cutoff. Uh, to smooth the edges, go here in object data properties. Under normals, change to 60 degrees. And if you want to break the objects, you can use booleans. I'm going to add a cube. Uh, right click and subdivide, increase number of cuts, uh, also smoothness, and also increase fractal just a little bit. In JMesh Tools, use the eyedropper to select the object that will be cut, and now hit Difference. Ok, so to create the next assets is the same process. I include this part as a time lapse, but I already explained the tools that I used.